Hello. Put your hat and valise at the foot of the stairs. Well, I think I won the first round. You mean you're still working here? I haven't heard anything to the contrary. Well, you just got by the cub. Now try the lioness. Oh. Which is she? Her name's Cornelia. She's a sweet-tempered little number. Oh, yes. I met her last night. Mm Mm-hmm. Let me have a tray. Second door. Thanks. Who is that? Uh, good morning, Miss... What do you mean by barging into my room? You... But I... Get out! Get out! You... Oh, wait, oh, wait, you don't... Get out! Get out, I said, and don't come back! Hello? Hello? I'm afraid I lost the second round. Hey, Molly, cut out all the noise and bring me some breakfast. Opportunity never stops knocking in this house. That's Irene. You want to try again? Here goes. Lots of luck. Good morning. I brought you breakfast. Oh, uh, are you the new butler? Don't you remember last night? Well, well, what happened to Godfrey? I'm Godfrey. Oh, you look so different. What happened to those nice whiskers? <laughs> Turn around and let me look at you. Uh, oh, you're the cutest thing I've ever seen. Thank you. Will there be anything else? Yes, yes. Sit down and talk. You know, I like to talk in the morning when your head is clear, especially when you've been somewhere the night before. Sit down. Well, if you insist, but uh, it doesn't seem very good form for a butler. Oh, you're more than a butler. You're the first protege I ever had. Protege? You know, like Carlo. Uh, Who is Carlo? He's mother's protege. Oh. You know, it's awfully nice, Carlo, having a sponsor, because then he doesn't have to work and he gets more time for his practicing. But then he never does, and that makes a difference. Uh, Yes. Yes, I imagine it would. Oh, it makes me feel so mature and grown up. Oh, uh, what does? Having a protege. You're the first one I ever had. Terribly thrilling. Not only does it occupy my mind, but I think it's character building, too. No, uh... Yeah, yeah. Uh, just what does a protege have to do? Oh, you just go on buckling and I sponsor you, don't you see? Uh, it's, uh, getting clearer. Well, it's really not much work, but it gives you something to think of. It's, it's going to be such fun. Oh, I'm sure it's going to be heaps of fun. But you see, a protege has certain responsibilities also. For instance, if someone should ring for me now and I didn't answer, that would reflect upon you, because you're my sponsor, don't you see? Yes, yes, I suppose it would. I never thought of that. Oh, you don't know how nice it is having some intelligent person to talk to. Yes, it's been very enlightening to me, too. Oh, 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 I just thought of something else. Do you know what you are? I'm not quite sure. You're my responsibility. That's very nice. Well, see you in church. Uh, Yes, yes, see you in church. Uh, Goodbye, Godfrey. Goodbye, miss. Oh, Godfrey. Yes, Miss Cornelia? I see you're still with us, Godfrey. Yes, Miss? I didn't think you'd last a full day. Thank you, Miss. Do you like your place here? I I mean, so far as you've gone. I must admit it's more desirable than living in a packing case on a city dump. Oh, that's where I met you. Yes, I remember now. You were very amusing. I'm very sorry, Miss. Oh, I didn't mind at all. Have you a handkerchief? There's a spot on my shoe. Will you see what you can do about it? Of course, miss. I could have you fired, you know, but I like to see things wriggle. When I get through with you, you'll go back to your packing case on the city dump and relish it. I'll make your life so miserable that... Hello, Godfrey. Good evening, Miss Irene. Oh, I like your new monkey suit. Thank you for picking it out. Oh, how do you like my new lounge suit pajamas? I think they're very nice. Thank you. I heard what you said to Godfrey. So what? So what? You leave him alone. So who's going to make me leave him alone? If you don't, you'll get a good sock from me. Oh, the physical type. What I say goes. May I come in? You're in, aren't you? Good evening, Irene. Hello, Carlo. I've just been reading a very interesting book, The Greeks of the Middle Ages. Irene would like that. You love the Middle Ages, don't you, dear? Shut up. Well, here we are. <laughs> ah, Mrs. Bullock. Carlo, you're so continental. 
Oh, it's so nice to see you two girls having a pleasant chat. Or is it a pleasant chat? Well, well, well. Imagine the bullocks gathered together all in one room. Don't forget Carlo, Alexander. Oh, I'm not going to forget Carlo. Oh, don't bother about me, Mr. Bullock. I feel one of the family. Oh. And you don't mind if I discuss a few family matters? Uh, do you, Carlo, my boy? Oh, no, no, not at all. Oh, Alexander, you're not going to bring up those sordid business matters again, I hope. I've just been going over last month's bills, and I find that you people have confused me with the Treasury Department. Oh, don't start that again, Dad. I've got to stop it. The way you people are throwing my money around. Money, money, money. That Frankenstein monster that destroys souls. What? Uh, say, listen. Don't say anything more about it. You're upsetting Carlo. Oh, Carlo, Carlo, Carlo. Oh. Who's the head of this house, Carlo or me? Yes, Godfrey. Your cocktail, sir. Huh? Oh, thank you, Godfrey. Not at all, sir. Miss Irene? Oh, did you make them, Godfrey? I've helped. Oh, they must be wonderful. I'd like to help sometime if you'll let me. I'd feel honored. While we're on the subject, how about this business of certain people picking up anybody they find on the city dump and dragging them into the house? For all we know, we might all be stabbed in the back some night and robbed. Who's going to stab who, Cornelia? Well, we don't know a thing about uh, certain people. You shut up. I will not shut up. My life's precious well, to me. Well, it won't be in a minute. I think we should get our help from employment agencies. Well, I don't know but what I agree with Cornelia. Will you? Oh, Amanda. You've upset Carlo, and now you're upsetting Irene. Don't you remember her breakdown last summer? I do. That's why I'm not paying any attention to this. Well, if Mother can sponsor Carlo, why can't I sponsor Godfrey? Oh, Godfrey knows I'm not being personal, but after all, none of us would like to wake up some morning stabbed to death. Now, Cornelia, you mustn't come between Irene and Godfrey. He's the only thing she's shown any affection for since a Pomeranium died last summer. Oh. Oh, now, Irene, you mustn't have a spell. Well, what is all this oh, nonsense? Oh, please be quiet. You never did understand women. Why don't you get the doctor? I don't want a doctor. Oh, do you want an ice bag? No, I don't want an ice bag. I want a dog. Oh, you mustn't do that. Um, uh, Carlo, do the gorilla for Irene. It always amuses her. I'm not in the mood. Well, stop eating those hors d'oeuvres and get in the mood. Mm, all right, I'll do it, but my heart won't be in it. Irene, be a good girl. Look, darling, Carlo's going to imitate a gorilla for you. A gorilla? I'd rather see him imitate a man. Alexander. This is too much. Too much. It certainly is. I'm getting out of this madhouse. I'll be at the club if you want me, and I hope you don't. Well, I'm off for dinner. We must all get together again sometime. <laughs> Goodbye, Irene. Irene, are you feeling all right? Irene! Where's Godfrey? He's right here. Don't worry, Godfrey. Angelica will be late for the concert. I'll put my things. I'll be right with you. Godfrey's right here, darling. Where? Right here. Look, look. See, darling? Uh, Godfrey, say hello to Irene so she'll know who you are. Hello? Oh. Oh, hello, Godfrey. And he's promised to stay on, haven't you, Godfrey? Uh, if I'm wanted. Oh, of course you want it, isn't he, Irene? <laughs> yes, go away. Uh, yes, darling, I'm going. Uh, goodbye, darling. Come along, Paula. Hurry. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Always hurry. Oh, Godfrey? Yes, miss? Oh, sit down, Godfrey. No, 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 over here by me. Oh, uh, yes, thank you, miss. Godfrey, would you mind kissing me? Uh, uh, Miss Irene, I hardly think... Oh, Godfrey. Here, 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 here now, wait. Please, please, Miss Irene. Please, Miss Irene, you mustn't. Oh, there. Excuse me. Oh, Godfrey, come back here. Where are you going? I'm going to my room. Oh, Godfrey, wait for me. Godfrey. 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 Godfrey, open this door. Godfrey. Oh, there you are, Godfrey. Please, Miss Irene, you, you you can't come in here. Why not? It's our house, isn't it? And after all, one room is just like any other room. Besides, I want to talk. I'm terribly sorry, but we we can't talk here. Well, don't you think it's rather indecent of you to order me out after you kissed me? After I kissed you? Of course, Godfrey. Don't you remember? Miss Irene, hasn't anyone ever told you about certain proprieties? Oh, you use such lovely big words. I like big words. What does it mean? <laughs> well... You want me to remain on here as butler, don't you? Oh, of course. And I want to justify your faith in me by being a very good butler. And, in time, perhaps, uh, filling the void created by the death of your late lamented Pomeranian. Oh, I've forgotten all about him. He had fleas anyway. Besides, you're different. You use big words and you're much cuter. <laughs> uh, may I tell you a story? Oh, I'd love it. For once, there was a very sentimental little girl with a very kind heart. And she helped a man who was very grateful. But then she became a nuisance. 
and undid all the fine work she had done. Oh, is it someone you know? Her name is Irene Bullock. And if she were a smart little girl, she'd pick out some nice young chap in her own social set and marry him and live happily ever after. And never, never, never enter the butler's room again. You mean I can never, never, never come in here again? Never. Now, out you go. Oh, Godfrey, stop. This way, please. No, I want to stay. Let me go. Outside, please. Oh, you'll be sorry. And don't ever come in here again. (laughs) 